Good morning, YouTube. Have you ever seen a delicata squash at the grocery and just weren't quite sure what to do with it? Well, I wasn't real sure either until just the past couple months and I have discovered my favorite way to cook a delicata squash. Simple, easy, and over the top delicious. We're going to slice it thin, roast it with a little garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper, perfection. Crispy, gorgeous goodness. All right, let's cook y'all. We got a family to feed. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do a vegetable that you may have seen in the stores, but you may not have ever cooked. This is a delicata squash. It is absolutely delicious, okay? And you notice, skin on this is super thin, so you can eat it, right? Yay! A little prep work. All right, so cut its ends off. And then you just come right down through the middle. And it's gonna be just like any other kind of of squash, you're gonna get rid of the, the seeds and the schmutch, okay? So the easiest way to do it, I think, is with a spoon. So you just pull your spoon across like that. All done. Okay, now we're gonna cut it into slices. And we want it to be relatively even. And then we just lay them all out on our baking sheet. Now I'm gonna roast these. Not on a roasting kick lately, but on a squash kick. Lots of root veggies. Of course it's all in season, so it's all cheap and it's all delicious. Nothing wrong with that, huh? Especially as we're running up to the holidays. Chances are we're gonna go a little overboard our family has a wedding planned. And then we're gonna be on the road for a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know what that has to do with squash. No. Okay, so on our baking sheet, just lay them out in a single layer. And I have my oven preheated, I'll deal with that one in a minute, preheated to 425 degrees. And this is my favorite way of oiling vegetables before I roast them. And this is just cooking spray, but it's the olive oil one. And this one is about empty. So just get those, you know, olive oil cooking spray. Any brand, doesn't matter. All right, and then to this, we are going to add a little salt. You don't want them super salty, but you do season, you know, Pretty well, both sides. I'm also going to add cracked black pepper. And I'm going to go over the top of these a little bit of garlic powder. I love how the natural sweetness in squash plays up against just salt, pepper, and garlic. It's an absolutely beautiful combination. Okay, so this is what they look like, and this is all we're doing to them. I'm gonna flip them over, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic on the other side, and they're going into our hot 425 degree oven for 20 minutes. Simple. All right, so our delicata had 20 minutes in the oven, and then I just flipped it over and it had another 15 minutes. Ooh, that is some golden roasty goodness. That is absolutely perfect. And the smaller ones are actually crispy. All right. Let's see. I am going to burn my mouth. <laughs> Ooh, hot. Man, y'all, that's so good. This is almost like a, like a, uh oh, oh. It's almost like a chip. You get all self righteous with this one, y'all. Kind of like a kale chip. Mmm, but you can eat all you want. <laughs> and you want to eat it. That's the winner, winner, winner part. 
Mm. Here you go, guys. Next time you see the delicata in the grocery, pick it up. You know what to do with it. Hey YouTube, if you found that helpful, do me a favor and hop on over to Patreon. Check out my channel over there. I am terrible with Patreon, but I'm working on it. Actually, I'm bribing Boone to work on it, and I'm doing my best to get all of my content uploaded over there where it's gonna sit there ad-free for my Patreons. How about that? No, patrons. Pates? Paters? I have no idea. <laughs>